Hello everybody. I'm going to do the front yard, all the Halloween decor, and John's cemeteries. And I'm going to start right here with the big old pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. And right behind that, which the wind's turning around, is one of the many ghouls that are hanging out. Here's that wonderful witch pumpkin that we got at Lowe's. And this cutie came from Gabe's. And its brother is right over here, hanging with the ghosts in the cemetery. These cool metal tombstones, those came from Home Depot this year. Love that pumpkin, have always loved it. And there's the wheelbarrow full of skulls and hands and pumpkins. Two more of those neat tombstones from Home Depot, along with the Grim Reaper, and another one of those wonderful pumpkins. And there's that cute witch hat that came from Gabe's. And this haunted house sign, that came from Home Goods this year. And then there is one of the shutters that John made. Got all the spooky ghosts and Halloween things on it. I just love it. I have lots of work to do in the yard. We'll get a week of rain and then we'll get no rain for a month. So everything is drying up. And then when the rain came, it beat up a lot of the plants. So just excuse the gardens because we've got a lot of work to do out here next week. There's a ghost. And of course, there's Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas hanging out. And over here, is another one of the spooky shutters that John made. I just love all the detail that he puts on it. Love the metal piece here on the top. Another one of those wonderful metal pumpkins. And back here, this is the hag or the witch hanging out, watching over everything in the yard. This was a mask that we bought at Walmart. And this hat and the witch's dress, that came from a yard sale. I think John paid four or five dollars for both pieces. And he just built basically a scarecrow form to put this on. See, she's under there, watching to see who comes around at nighttime. Back there's a witch that John cut out and I painted many, many years ago. And there's the skeleton just taking a rest from his many hours of nighttime haunting. And there's one of those cute flags that we got. Just love it. and got the witch ghoul hanging in the trees. And there's another 
young skeleton taking a break. And back there is the ironing board John made last year into a ghost. Enter if you dare. Haunted house. And all the cute little metal Halloween people that we have. And on the front door, I'm going to go up here because I don't know whether you can see it if I stay back there. There's where I put one of those masks from Walmart. I just love it. And you can see me. I'm a shadowy figure in the ghost, like a ghost in the door. I'll come back down here and show you the rest. There's the pumpkin coach. And that's the boo to you sign from Hobby Lobby several years ago. And there's that cute little stepladder that we got at the yard sale this summer, already painted black. And got another skeleton just hanging out there. This metal pumpkin came from a yard sale a long time ago, too. And y'all remember John's favorite smiley cat right there. Just some creepy cloth, some spooky hands, and tombstones, and some pumpkins, and a skull, and chains for the ghosts to rattle. Another one of John's spooky shutters. And if the shoe fits. And this ghost has got wrapped up in the tree with all the wind, and I forgot to let him go. And there's one right there. Let's see if I can get Pumpkin Man loose. There's Pumpkin Man hanging in a canopy of a Japanese maple. And I love this little flag, had that for a couple years. And which way, Rest in Peace Road and Haunted Highway, which way would you choose? Well, I would choose to go in the opposite way that the ghosts are going. And here are John's cemetery stones that he made. And there's that cute ghost that we got. That one came from Gabe's. And the three came from Hamrick's, I believe. Another ghost back there. Just having fun in the cemetery. This little sign we got at Walmart the other day. I didn't show it in the hall because I forgot and put it on out here. And another one of the big old pumpkins. So I hope all of you have a wonderful and spooktacular Halloween. I'll be doing the back yard and the summer room soon. Stay tuned for more ghostly doings. Till the next time.